Hello once again. Today, the finished product, the Ice Water Mansion, completed. You're here for the signing of the completed product, which I'm going to do right in front of you right now. And uh, this will mark the end of the series. And I'm going to uh, put my signature on here right now. Uh, tribute to the Edmund Fitzgerald. I already wrote uh, the Ice Water Mansion on, on the painting. And I'm going to uh, bring you up for a closer look here as soon as I'm done signing. Okay, so I'm signing my name, uh, Richard Cottrell. And uh, it took uh, five sessions, so approximately one month to do this painting. And that's starting with the uh, background, like I showed you, or actually uh, what I did was uh, I showed you how to apply the primer. And then we did the background. And then I showed you how to start adding the, uh, the main subjects to the background. And this is pretty basic, folks. Whenever you're doing any kind of painting, this is uh, a little bit less complicated. Uh, a lot of the artwork that I do can be complicating. And I will do more sessions with you. First, I want to tell you a little bit uh, more about uh, the Edmund Fitzgerald before I tell you about more of the sessions that I'm going to do. The Edmund Fitzgerald saved during uh, a winter storm, a severe storm in Lake Superior when I was 10 years old. November 10th, 1975, approximately 7 p.m., the main hatchway caved in during the storm. The boat was being rocked back and forth, and then finally it cracked in half and down to the bottom of Lake Superior, where it was found five years later, approximately five years later, by Jacques Cousteau. And uh, that was uh, the subject of a song by Gordon Lightfoot, as I had mentioned. Hopefully you, uh, you may have uh, pulled it up on YouTube, uh, called The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. And that explains the whole story, pretty much. And, uh, the fate of what had happened and uh, the ship itself had disappeared for uh, about five years before they found it in Lake Superior, not too far from uh, Whitefish Bay, Ontario. So I'm putting a date on here now when I completed it. February 2023. When you're doing a painting, uh, sometimes it's good to use just uh, a fine brush or a, a sharp tip brush to uh, do your signature. And usually always do your signature in black if you can. But today I'm using a marker because I just want to do this fast enough so that, and even, and it's still good because I don't have the, uh, I don't have the skinny brushes for this. Uh, I'm, uh, yet to get some uh, brush supplies and, uh, stuff together so that I can do uh, some other work that I'm going to be doing. I will do more paintings in front of you, uh, different kind of uh, abstract kind of art and uh, different kinds of uh, different kinds of art. Actually, I'm going to be doing uh, different mediums, different kinds of art features, and uh, I will uh, keep you posted on those, on uh, what I've got going. And uh, more videos coming up, more art videos, more uh, sobriety videos. Once again, this is a uh, uh, getting sober sobriety so show uh, things to do when you're coming down off of alcohol, uh, when you become a sober person and uh, how to make a living. So there's my signature. I'm going to bring you up a little closer. The Ice Water Mansion completed today. February 20th, 2023. Now, these are, uh, here, remember I started with the Northern Pike? 
I worked on that and then I added I added uh, some walleye and then I added a uh, smallmouth bass that's that little group of fish right there uh, I don't know why I I don't know if uh, different species of fish like to hang out together with their own kind but that's how I did it and uh, here we have some seagulls and uh, one of them uh, has got a little fish or a catch in his mouth and the other seagulls are a little jealous and they want a piece of the action. So we got a little bit of activity in this painting as well on the Great Lake. Uh, it could be any Great Lake, but uh, I'm uh, figuring that this could be uh, Lake Superior. And here is the Edmund Fitzgerald completed. Thank you very much for joining us. We will be back again shortly. Oreo from Ontario, my co-host, my best buddy, and a completed Ice Water Mansion painting. I'm Richard Cottrell. I will see you again soon.